Chapter 7. Chapter 7 is a relatively short chapter and it's focused on Newton's third law. Rarely, actually I've never seen a book that devotes an entire chapter to Newton's third law, but our book does. So the main goal of this chapter is, uh, is that you will use Newton's third law to understand how objects interact, right? Because uh, that's in order to have Newton's third law, it says body A applies a force on body B, then body B applies a force on body A that's equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So you have to ha always have two bodies. So let's see the details here. So by the end of this chapter, you will be able to state Newton's third law of motion, identify the interaction between two objects, meaning identify the, what's the action and what's the reaction force in different situations, and then apply Newton's third law to define systems and solve problems of motion. That's it. That's this chapter.